Hey everybody, Arnaldo Loftman here of Gear It First on behalf of X-Laser and Wicked Laser. So no doubt you've already heard the announcement about the new two and a half watt Wi-Fi cube. And of course the new pro version. Now I'm not gonna talk about the pro version because honestly, it's nowhere near ready for release. But I am going to talk about the Wi-Fi version. As you can see, this one's in my hand, fully functional model, and it works great. So let me explain to you what the difference is. First of all, it's still the same size case, but a couple of things have changed. No more two watt version. This is two and a half watt. It has been measured out of the aperture and it's hidden that. It is bright. And I don't just mean, oh, it's a little bit brighter. It is noticeably brighter. As you can see in some of the photos and videos right now, this guy is bright. Even with other lights and everything drowning it out, it really keeps up. On the back here, no more USB port. So essentially, this guy can connect to your computer either by creating its own Wi-Fi network. You connect via HDCP, meaning it assigns its own IP, bada bing, bada boom, and you're done. You can also connect this to an existing network, which is perfect for a fixed install. However, if you don't trust Wi-Fi, especially places where the Wi-Fi can get pretty spotty, there's tons of other networks, you can connect it directly with a CAT6 cable. Now this is not a CAT6 over USB, this is straight CAT6. USB is completely gone out of the system. But I can tell you from using this in an area with a congested Wi-Fi area and another place that's basically a giant freaking Faraday cage, plus my own house, which there's tons of 2.4 gigahertz network around here, this guy keeps up. Now, as far as safety, what happens if the Wi-Fi stops? The laser just stops working or it freezes in the last frame. It's pretty safe, but that's what you have that e-stop for too. No, lasers are not just gonna go randomly shooting everywhere. And that's also what your physical beam block is for. You see, this isn't just to expose your laser. This is a physical beam block and you should be using it as such. You still have your key, your interlock. Again, you've got your e-stop, and you have your 2.4 gigahertz antenna. Otherwise, this is the exact same size. I also do like the addition of putting an eye bolt in here for proper rigging on trussing or anything like that. So yay for that. Now the next question is, what about iOS? Yes, this will be iOS compatible. No, I have no idea. Nobody really does when the iOS app will be available. It's not just an issue of developing the app, it's also getting Apple to approve it. And then it's also about making sure that it's going to be safe and stable for laser use. Will the old laser cube be available with iOS with a cable? No, it will not. It is not a limitation of X-Laser, it's just a limitation of what hardware Apple allows to interface with their iOS device. And unfortunately, Apple's not gonna let go of that anytime soon. So it's not just as easy as plugging in your cube with a camera connectivity kit. So unfortunately, this is the only way to currently do it. Will this play nicely with the other laser cubes if you've got multiple network units as far as independent control? Will that finally happen? Well, if you read the announcement, yeah, that is something that they're working on. Now, as to what extent the independent control will be, we don't really know because the developers are trying out different things and most importantly, finding ways to make it as easy for the new user to be able to do. And it's something that they also listen to you guys to make sure that those features are integrated properly, which is why it's so important to not only join the X Laser group on Facebook, but also the Laser Cube group as well, because that's where the developers are listening. Now, what, what has taken so long for this thing to come to the US? I mean, it's already, you know, being shipped out of other parts of the country, like the original Laser Cube. What's X Laser doing? They're actually doing a lot. The United States, if you guys are new to lasers, the US is difficult with lasers. Everything has to be approved by the FDA. And it's not just as simple as you getting approved, but X-Laser has to have every single projector approved as well. This means that once a projector comes in, the X-Laser team has to pretty much take it all apart, approve everything, do a bunch of legal mama jumbo magic with elves and then send it to the FDA. The FDA then pretty much picks this thing apart, finds every little thing to nitpick about. And then if it's safe, they're like, you're good to go. Then it's about bringing it in. Then once it's brought in, the X-Laser team also makes sure that it's full quality control. It's not just, oh, X-Laser's distributing it. In the US, X-Laser is helping with development. They're helping with customer support, which is why it's so important that we're, we're patient. Believe me, I really, I really wish I could tell you more, but what I'm telling you that they are busting their butts right now to the point that it's just getting silly to make sure that this is safe for you guys, it's an understatement. 
Now, PSA, speaking of safety and all that, stop taking your laser cube and aiming it at the sky or outdoors. There's no other way of really saying it. it. It's irresponsible. And you might be asking, well, how can this really hurt a plane? It's not that you're gonna blind the pilot, but usually the way it works is once a laser hits that glass on an airplane, it's not just a beam going through. It literally just refracts across the whole glass and makes it real difficult for them to see or it can cause problems. Point being is, this laser, if you told me three years ago that I would be holding a two and a half watt laser that's battery powered and wireless in my hand, like there's no way. There's no way the FDA would allow anything wireless to be allowed. Well, it's happening. But at the same time, this also makes it really accessible for everybody to get into lasers, which is great. We want to share the hobby, but please be responsible. If you're new to lasers and you don't know proper safety protocol, X Laser has a great video on this. We also have a video on this. We meaning, you know, gear it first. Uh, but everybody's got tons of great videos on there. You just want to make sure it's something that X Laser officially endorses. My point is, is be careful with these. Don't be stupid with these because these, these are not a toy. You can give somebody free LASIK. I can ruin my iPhone right now with this thing. But that all aside, it's coming soon. So I'm gonna end this video with just a couple quick video clips. One of them is using it just the very first time, the moment I got this thing, bam, used it at a bar, wanted to see just what it looks like with some fog, beautiful. Then we're gonna kinda push it over to a prom I just did this past weekend. Lots of lights being used on that one and you can see how beautiful it is. Now, the new kit is gonna come with everything you're already used to it coming with. Again, it's still the same size. It still uses the same little tripod. The kit does come with all that, but it also comes with the antenna, which is very important. Now, when is it gonna come out? Right now, the official word from X Laser is that they're hoping for late April until May. But honestly, I'm gonna tell you as an end user, and I've seen this happen with every kind of light product out there. Anytime you're importing something and you have to go through government regulations, go through the latter part of that date. So I would say May. Now, if you have any questions, you can of course contact X Laser directly, keep an eye on their store to see when you can start pre-ordering or ordering the units outright. I don't think there's gonna be any pre-orders to be honest with you, which I know answers one of the questions. And support your dealers. The dealers are selling this as well. We've got lots of great dealers on the Facebook group and hey, support them because they're also offering support for you guys as well. Again, my name's Arnaldo Hoffman of Gear It First. Again, the two and a half watt laser cube. Now kids, you are curious about the wavelength on it. On this particular unit, it is 445, 520, and 638. It's pretty darn bright. It's still 19 volts coming in with a 65 watt max power usage. So the uh, if you lose the outlet if it comes with it, or excuse me, the power adapter, just go pick up another laptop power adapter. Also will fit in there, the universal ones. So hey, thanks so much for watching. Any questions, comments, etc. leave them down below. Have a great night and God bless. Bye.